Hello everyone, welcome back to Tea with SSD, Mo and Susan. Today we're back with our little puppies who are once again eating. And we're going to do our daily check on them. I have so far today checked out Mo. Her teeth are in good shape, her temperature is normal, she is eating. She went for a nice long walk and she is acting very normally. Now the puppies, we have weighed them all, and we're going to do a weight check in just a minute here. They seem to all be eating and sleeping and being very normal. All right, so remember, we wanted, we want to, one way to keep a good eye on these puppies is to, is to check on their weights, and they should double their weights within eight to 10 days. So today they are eight days old, and I have my chart again, and this time we're going to have Oliver do the math. It's a little bit hard, higher math. It was kind of hard for Timmy to do it. So now Oliver is going to check and see how many puppies or which puppies have doubled their weight since birth. Go ahead, Oliver. Which ones do you think have are? Oops, forgot to put the speaker on. There we go. Okay. Oliver, okay. Come here. <laughs> okay, Oliver. Which ones he's have coming, doubled their he's weight? Coming. He's coming. All right, Oliver. Lou has doubled exactly. Orange has a little less than doubled. Green, red, yellow, and pink have all more than doubled. Okay. All yeah. right. So we have <laughs> one one puppy to go, right? One. Oliver said green, red, yellow, and pink all more than doubled. Okay. So, everyone is, a, is within normal limits of gaining weight, so we are taking that as one sign that these are healthy puppies. Thanks, Oliver. Bye. All right, so today we're going to talk about another subject. While these puppies are eating and now they're going to be sleepy, we're going to talk about genetics and breeding better dogs. This is important to SSD and any program, assistance dog program or any program that is breeding working dogs. You want a better dog. A dog that can do that job that you are asking it to do. A dog that can tolerate all of the stresses. A working dog is very different than a pet. There's a lot more stress to their life as any of you that are puppy raisers out there can attest to. Uh, being a working dog is, is hard, it's stressful, and it's a lot more put on these dogs than pets. So one of SSD's goals is to breed a dog that can have better tolerance to all of these stresses that their lives will have on them. So how much do we see in a dog, any dog, is heritable, and how much is is experience and exposure it's the old nature versus nurture discussion and, and you can talk ad infinitum about which is more important less important um, the actual genetics of the dog or the life that that dog has led and really this is true for for any mammal some studies have shown that genetics really only covers 35% of the animal that you see, which really isn't much. So what can we do since we know that uh, experiences and exposure are very important to these dogs, what can we do to make them even better? Since we can affect it, how can we affect it? So we want to stimulate these natural abilities that these dogs have. Now don't forget these puppies are still considered neonates, they're just born, they are one week old, and they are doing incredible growth and development. Uh, no one's walking today because they've all just eaten and they're all asleep, but they have done so much growing in the last week, and of course most of it we can't see. They've grown in size, but think of all of their organs and their bones and their the big part is their brain and their neurons are, are growing and connecting. So research has shown that this time, that right now, where these puppies are, is a very important time to uh, work on this 
stimulating natural abilities. This zero to two weeks of age. The puppies are very susceptible to thermal, tactile stimulation, motion, and locomotion. Now, many years ago, the U.S. military developed a method still used that was nicknamed the Superdog Program, and it's called Early Neurological Stimulation. All you have to do is Google it, and there are articles written about it. We call it ENS because Early Neurological Stimulation is a lot of words. ENS. It has shown to have very important and lasting effects on dogs. So remember, this would work for any pet dog, any, any dog. Um, but again, since the working dog community considers this aspect of their dogs to be so important, it is emphasized. This ENS is done on the puppies from their third day of birth through their 16th day. So remember, this is the time of huge, rapid neurological growth and development. We can't see it, but it's there. So that's why it's really hard to say, well, I can't see any results of what I'm doing. No, you can't. You have to observe your dog when the dog has grown up and say, hmm, maybe it did work. All right, so daily, starting from the third day, we handle each pup one by one, and we do exercises, five exercises. Each exercise is done for only three to five seconds, no shorter and no longer. Remember stress, a little, some stress is good. Too much stress is not necessarily good. Um, with our world situation today, you'll be, you're hearing reports of people that are stressed and it's going to increase and it's not good for people to be stressed to such a huge extent that they are today. And it's the same with these dogs. So we want to put some stress on them, but not too much. So I'm going to have to stand up and I will actually show you. Actually, I'll, I'll talk about it first. The first ex exercise is tactile stimulation where I take a Q-tip and roll it between their toes and they can feel it. Then I hold the little puppy so its head is straight up. Then I hold the little puppy so its head is straight down. Then I hold the little puppy on his back in the supine position. And then I do a thermal stimulation where I put the puppy on a cold, wet washcloth. Remember, none of these things really happen naturally in early life. This is something that is not going to happen here in the whelping box. The other thing to remember is that this is not a substitution or does it eliminate routine handling, playing with the puppies, socializing the puppies, or bonding with the puppies between mom and the puppies or between humans and the puppies. Okay, so I'm going to uh, demonstrate now with one of the puppies just how we do this. So who should we pick? All right, Red, you're crawling over here. This is Red Puppy. He's a little boy. And remember, we check their collars every day, and he's going to need a new collar in another day or so. So exercise number one, we take our Q-tip, and I hold out a little paw, and I put it right between their two little toes, and I twirl it. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and we're done. Okay, that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is the puppy goes straight up in the air. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Now the puppy goes head down. I'm going to support his back. And puppy doesn't like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And you ought to try this on day 16. Okay, now we flip him over on his back. I support him on my, on my abdomen and hold his head. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. And little puppy doesn't mind this quite so much. Now watch what's next. Cold, wet washcloth. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. And kids make liars out of you every time. Usually they wiggle and squirm and go, ah, that's cold. Okay? So that's it. And little puppy is all done. His ENS for the day. Whoop. 
and he's got his tongue out again. It's hard work being a puppy. Okay, so that puppy's all done. And what it also is, is a chance to give little puppy a, a smooch on his nose. Okay, and then he goes back with his siblings. So, that's ENS, very quickly, and what does it do? You can see when I held the puppy upside down, it depends on the puppies. Remember, puppies have different, all different temperaments, just like people do. And today it really bothered him to be held upside down. And the other exercises didn't bother him. Um, and all the puppies respond a little differently. But you can tell since he was responding, we were putting that puppy under a little bit of stress. It was only for four seconds. So he goes, Phew, I can handle that, all right? So what are the benefits? The long term, and this is what we need. A working dog, we want them to work as long as they can. They bond with their partners and they uh, work for their partners and the longer they can work, the better for everyone involved, the partner and the dog. So benefits, the improved cardiovascular performance and improved heart rate, stronger heartbeats, stronger adrenal glands, which all tie into that stress system. And they have more tolerance to stress. And the fifth reason is that they have greater resistance to disease. Okay? A result. All of these add up to a puppy and a dog, a working dog, that is more active and more explorative. So we want a dog that's willing to just keep on going, say, this is hard today, but I'm going to keep trying. So this is what ENS does for the puppies. There are, I will say that there are some programs out there that are not doing this anymore. Um, so it is, it is very, it is a debatable subject, but it certainly doesn't hurt the puppies to do this. Um, it's, so if it benefits them, you know, that is wonderful. Okay, so the puppies are all sleeping. They just had a big slurp. Mo is sleeping. Remember, it's hard work being a mom. And little red guy, little red collar. Oh, she touched his nose too much. Oh, he's yelling at mom. Life isn't perfect right now. He's looking for that perfect sleeping spot. And he's going back behind the pig rail now. I think Blue is back behind the pig rail, if anyone's counting. So there are now two puppies that are lying behind Mo. And you'll see she's leaning against the pig rail, and therefore she's not leaning against the wall, um, because that's where two puppies are hiding. And she gets up and does more cleaning. Remember, she is still stimulating the puppies to, to urinate and to defecate. Oh, little puppy's peeing. And she does this all day, every day. Puppies sleeping, puppies growing. Perhaps tomorrow they'll be up and walking around a little more. All right? So that's it for today. We hope you'll join us tomorrow for tea with SSD Mo and Susan. Have a good day. Bye-bye.